we're kind of looking at doing twice as much inpatient work in every area that we're in 20 years' time, 15, 20 years' time, that we're doing now. That's a huge growth, and there's some massive problems in terms of delivering that. One is facilities, and we are building, developing the facilities as we go along. The other one is workforce. To attract more young people into a health career, we visit local high schools with our project workforce team. And we're meeting with students year 9, 10s, um, right through year 13, to tell them a little bit about the health career occupations that are available today. We're letting them know the, the range, so that they, a lot of people know about nursing and doctors, but they don't know really the full range of jobs that they do. We <laughs> can see the meds <laughs> He's a personal trainer, being a dentist, dentist, doctor, doctor, fitness trainer, physiotherapy, mental health because I like to work with people. And while recruitment of fresh talent is important, retention of staff that are healthy and motivated are also key. That's why we run yoga classes and provide other stay fit options. Although the organisation is about people, the buildings are really important. Um, it's important to deliver health care in pleasant surroundings, um, both for the staff and for the patients and for their family. We've uh, opened up a new neonatal intensive care unit. It's a fabulous facility. Well, the neonatal unit here at Middlemore is really important because of our growing population in counties Manukau. We're seeing more births than any other DHB and therefore we need to provide care for babies that get into trouble that need neonatal care. Um, what's great about this unit is it's new, it's state of the art. We provide excellent nursing care. We've always had really good outcomes for our babies, but now we've got a unit that supports the family-centred side of our care so that we can, we've got more resources for families, basically. She has been very good. Not too heavy? No. Doing good. We've got a National Burns Centre here that fits in with a long-term uh, work that we've done in plastic surgery and burns and it becomes a focus for uh, high complexity burn care um, and also it becomes a resource for education of plastic surgery, education training and interaction with plastic surgery on a sort of hub and spoke model around the country. One of the things you need about to run any kind of health service is a high level of information. Also, you need a high level of people's cognizance of that information. They need to be able to get a grip of it and use it for themselves. We simply have to get smarter and smarter about the use of information if we're going to enable that population. You've got to keep the goal in mind. The goal is that the community being served gets better served because we're better informed about what works. Practice nurse Donna Snell is one of the county's Monaco team utilising online information access. People in the secondary seating in, at Middlemore and the Manukau Super Clinic can access information that we have on the patients and we also have the same privilege being able to access some of the patients notes um, in Middlemore. Now the public primary health organisations are actually collecting information on their population like never before. We now know the rates of immunisations for kids. We now know, for instance, who's been treated on diabetes plans. We now know, for instance, the kind of cardiovascular intervention rates that we've got for our people. The more you can engage your local population in the solutions around their health improvement, then the more you're going to get advanced gain in that health improvement. This is going to be one of the fundamental ways in which we re-enfranchise the ability of people to live their lives as much as possible outside of institutions for the vast majority of their lives.